And good evening, everyone. Welcome to another Friday night watch chat. I am, I am your host, Bobby Legs. I feel like a game show host every time I do this, you know. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, and we have our esteemed panel, as you guys can see. Uh, Colin, good evening. How are you, How you my doing? friend? I'm good, man. How are you? Yeah, very, very good. What yeah. do you got on wrist tonight, man? I'm wearing my Pepsi again. Yeah. This is my weekend watch for sure. It's yeah. comfortable and yeah, goes with my sweats. So. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> Although I wear sweats pretty much every day now. So right, right. working from home. I, I laugh I laugh because uh because I can relate. I can yeah. relate. <laughs> um I'm in. What's up, man? What do hey, you got on rest? Yeah, I'm also wearing uh, my sweatpants watch here. Uh <laughs> Bulgari Octopanissimo. Yeah. <laughs> Rod, do you have sweatpants on? <laughs> no, I'll get a cargo oh, shorts and polo. No. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm uh, wearing today, I switched into uh, nice. the uh, Brigade Type 2021 20, there. Um, I was wearing um, a watch with a metal bracelet all day mm -hmm. because, you know, it's a desert and summer's yeah. here. It's 100 degrees already. Um, today was 100 <laughs> so like you know the leather bracelet you know leather bands you know that's kind of like i right, take it a chance so these have to wait until i get home <laughs> so, so yikes yeah it's freezing uh, here <laughs> it was, was like, i wish it was freezing here it was 38 today <laughs> yeah <laughs> 38 <laughs> Yeah, My yeah. God. Well, well, it's going to be sixty again tomorrow, but uh, for some reason, it just it got dipped down. Uh, really chilly. Uh, I am wearing sweats, um, and <laughs> I am um, wearing my new edition. Came in the mail today, the Zen U fifty, and um, anticipating it for a long time. Everybody, long knows. time coming. Yeah. Long time coming. Um, interesting story. Uh, so it's on a rubber strap at the moment. And initially I was thinking about buying it on a rubber strap, but the Tejimented uh, bracelet was um, only $70 more. So I figured it was a yeah. no brainer. Yeah. Um, so I get it today. Right. And um, all excited and I want to size it. And I forget that it's got this hexagonal hex screws in it and they give you two little Allen wrenches and you got to hold one side and unscrew the other side. So, um, and I've done this before. I've sized uh, my A57 uh, with no problem. Started sizing the U50 on one side, no problem. And I got on the other side. And uh, I started having some problems. Um, like, I guess it just wasn't fitting right or whatever. So long story short, I, I pretty much stripped one of the, the hexes, the X screws. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and then I'm like, well, okay, all, not, all is not lost here. I still can size it. Let me just go to this other link and do the same. And and I did it again. I did it again. <laughs> and uh, and I was really, really bummed. And I, you know, I, I felt like inside of me, like I was gonna, I was gonna lose it, right? So I just, I just put it down. You know, I, I know enough <laughs> now in life to, uh, you know, uh, take a moment, take a breather. And, uh, and so I took it off the, the bracelet and I, and I put on the strap, um, and I ordered a, a Zen strap uh, this evening. So I'm going to go probably to a jeweler. I tried a couple of things. I, I, I did the rubber band trick, uh, with the screw to get like some traction. Um, I just didn't want to keep on messing with it. I, I busted up my finger pretty good, Bobby fingers, you know, uh, I got another injury <laughs> and, um, and so, yeah, so a, a little bit of a bummer, but very uh, overall, very, very happy. Um, it wears, it's so thin, right? Mm -hmm. This is a 500 meter diver and look how thin, I mean, it's like just I yeah. think barely over 10 millimeters. It's, and um, so it just wears so light and small, surprisingly, but in a good way. Mm -hmm. And, um, and even Mrs. Legs was like, she was trying to take it, and I was like, "Oh, and I learned my lesson with the camo titanium uh, G-Shock that you took from me. Um, that this was not going to happen. So um, I had to fight her off a little bit, but that was kind of fun. Anyway, uh, let's go check the the chat. Let's say hello to some people and let us know what you're wearing. Hey, Peter, how are you? Uh, Megan's here. Hey, Megan. Um, blue shirt. What's going on? Chaz from the Berg. Jared, sir, what's up? 
Mountain Standard Time is here in the house. Engineer Wannabe Sanjay, how are you? Colin is here. No, uh, no. Oh, Rick's here. Rick's here, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Colin, good, Colin, good chat on Clubhouse. Yeah, we were on you Clubhouse were... a bit together. Oh, wow. Rick. Yeah, yeah. I've been going on there every once in a while. I still can't. There's, there's good watch talk on there. Yeah, I still can't wrap my head around it, but uh, maybe I just need yeah. to jump in. Um, yeah. Uh, Jeff is here. Uh, Riss Ross, how are you? Uh, let's see here. Jared. Um, Wilson, thank you for joining. Um, David, what's going on? Let's go. Yes, let's go. We want Joe's cat. A lot of a lot of <laughs> chat about Joe in the in the chat yeah. early on. We, we miss um, Joe. Yeah. We do miss Joe. Joe. <laughs> yeah. He had a family. He's the only adult there. we got. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. And uh, so yes, like I said, it, Nilo, Nilo's here. I saw Nilo. Um. Okay. And uh, young XLNC saw you here. Yep. Um. Thank you for for joining us. Uh, Pete is here. Thinness is so underrated. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thinness is so under. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> okay. No, I agree. I agree. Yeah, yeah. Neil, those 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 wrenches are a little cheap. Yeah. 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 Leave it to the professional. <laughs> yeah. I, no, I mean, look, I, I I was I was pretty good, you know, with the previous with the other watch, and and I started pretty good. You know what it was like that? My hand started cramping up too. You know what I mean? <laughs> just got those hands. You know? I totally felt that way, right? <laughs> uh, probably the it's got like the, yes. hands, like sorry, never mind. I won't yeah, say. no, it's it's a, <laughs> it's like it, it, you know, like um, uh, what movie? I'm thinking, uh, oh, no, anyway. scary movie. The yeah, yeah, like this. exactly. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's exactly yeah. what I was thinking of. Yeah. You read my mind. <laughs> um, ID guy, hey, thanks for uh, dropping in. Uh, hey. Appreciate it. I uh, love your stuff. Um, Kevin's here. Um, so yeah, so you know, a little bit of a bummer, but I'm I'm moving on, and I'm I'm getting that that strap anyway. Um, oh Rick, what color strap did you get? Uh, I I got the black. I got a black, black. one, uh, okay. and it, and the tegmented uh, clasp. Yeah. So um, mm -hmm. so that's good. So you know, because um, you can get it without the tegmented. Clasp. Can you get it without a without <laughs> a uh? <laughs> I, I hope I hope <laughs> Chris Ross. I hope that was a. Uh, it, it didn't work, Chris Ross. <laughs> <laughs> <didn't work. laughs> Let me know if you meant to do that, man. I mean, I'll see. <laughs> Jeez, wow. Uh, <laughs> thank you, anyway. If you did, well, I, I'm, I'm going to take it that you did. So thank you. <laughs> I'm just glad that wasn't Philip. <laughs> yeah. Well, we He's still got there doing we still got fifty two minutes. <laughs> yeah. So you never know. Oh God. Can uh, you buy the can you buy a strap without a clasp at all? Like could you get a red one and then just swap the clasp? I mean or did uh, I, I got it through watch buys. So yeah. I don't I don't know. I've seen know. it with the red strap and it looks really cool. That's the red strap does look good. Yes. It, look, yeah. it it does look good. I just I don't know. Trying to think, I saw a blue strap for the twenty millimeter. I did not see a red strap available. Oh, okay. But I, but I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure I didn't see it. Um, but anyway, but it makes me think, like you know, I could, you know, I've tried the um, <laughs> fuckered up bracelet fund. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Jeff. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Uh, but it, it it makes me uh, think, like you know that. You know, if, if Mrs. Legs is makes the, the hardcore press for for this U fifty, that I could I could do I could do a U one. I mean, I've how, tried the U one before, but how many links um, do you think you need to take out of that bracelet for it to fit your wrist? Uh, two and one. It's either two and one or three and two. That's I just I don't. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And 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 I have to be, man. I. So like on the underside, mm. right here, right here, mm. the, the clasp, like, like I almost like the, I'm not I'm not obsessive, I'm not neurotic about things, but I need to have that clasp right in the middle. 
then you are obsessive and neurotic. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> yeah. But, about, but about this, but yeah, about this, way. I am. You know what I mean? So I actually, I, you know. I usually have mine more towards the inside because huh. it it's less likely to like scuff up if you put it there. Oh. You know what um, I mean? Because mm. mm. if you're anyway, yeah, you figure it out. Yeah, that's how my AD does it usually. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. So yeah, I mean, eventually I'm going to need new screws, but I gotta. I think I gotta bring it to a jeweler to get it out because they're stripped and they're still mm. they're still in there. Like I, I, dude, I. This is how crazy I am, and I know we're taking probably too much time on this, but I actually got the drill, and I was thinking <laughs> oh, about like, no, right, no, right. No, no. I mean, I know, I know. That's Very when I. Like, crazy. That's when I. That's when I stopped. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. Oh, put the drill down, Bob. Yeah. 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 It's good that you stop. Disaster. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you're when you when you're 25, you you might get the drill, but yeah. at our no. age, you know better. You should know. I know, better. Yeah. Oh. I know man. I want to. So yeah. so so that's what I'm. That's how I let yeah. it off. Like you know, yeah. I'm yeah. a little older now, and, and I was down able to the drill. Put it down. Good job. Good job. <laughs> right well done. Right. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> we've all been there before. Yeah. It yeah, would have been I a am. good video, though. Would have been a good video. I, I oh. was, I was, I was thinking, of, I was thinking about videotaping, but then I just didn't want that evidence out there. Oh, Dude, you, it oh, would have paid for another bracelet because that would oh, have been viral. What yeah. a bad <laughs> scene! You would have got lit up in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Yeah. Having yeah, the same yeah. Philip would get the yeah. job. Yeah. 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 Tell me about it. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Um, Let's let's go into our, our first little uh, segment, and um, you know, uh, someone in the chat came, not in the chat, but I think I think it was was it was it Colin? Yeah, Colin came up with the idea of doing a two watch collection for for fifty k, and, and the genesis yeah. of this came up. We had a discussion in in Amin's, um super best friends, uh, super best watch friends uh, Discord. We had a, a a chat, and one of the members. Um, was talking about how he likes having one really nice watch. He has a, a great collection of vintage affordables. I've seen his collection, um, but he likes having that one um, nice, nice watch. Um, you know, we're all different types of collectors and, and that's what he likes to do. And so, uh, you know, I thought that would be a great idea. Like, you know, and then Colin, uh, I think, um, you know, kind of fine tuned it to, to something uh, more, more, uh, more interactive more let's get mm. a two watch collection for for 50k let's say yeah. this imaginary let's have 50K. fun yeah. let's have fun, fun with it so um i'm gonna start alphabetically because that's how i saved the files uh Amin, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna start off with uh you just let me just pull it up uh real quick um let me sure i got all the sizing here uh do 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 bear <clears throat> with me and let me share and uh, I want to I want to hear from the chat what they'd pick. For that's two a, watches, fifty k US. Very good point. Let's uh, let's do that too. Um, sorry if the images um, are not totally. It, it could be one watch that's like forty five k and one watch oh, that's yeah. five. Rob, yeah. can I share my screen? I got to show. I got to go a little higher res on this one. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know why the well, pictures. Um, right, let me let me stop sharing. Let yeah, me, you yeah, got to you got to do that watch justice uh let's see here. fair enough yeah i just i don't know why i didn't get the get high res enough but all right so uh share screen okay is it there we go yeah all right so this is uh brig a 7337 you can see the uh thing. the guilloche there right mm -hmm. so um this is uh you know, loosely modeled on an old Brigade pocket watch design. It's a full calendar <laughs> moon phase, um, like a zillion types of yeah. hand uh, engine turned guilloche here. Um, and five, this one, five guilloche, guilloche. One, two, three, four, five, oh, six, six, at least six. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't know. It's a little old fashioned looking, but I think it's beautiful. They make it in a lot of colors. I really mm -hmm. like the yellow gold um, on this one. And I like the old fashioned uh, moon drawing. They have yeah. some that don't yeah, have face. the face. Yeah, the I like the face. I like the bosom. 
Yeah. Um, the movement is gorgeous too. It's, it's automatic, but there's hand finishing on the movement and a, a guilloche rotor as well. Um, it's thin. It's dressed. This would be my dress watch. I don't need a formal dress watch. I don't, you know, go to black tie events uh, much. But this this would be my my dress watch uh, out of the two. If I was going with a two watch collection, this one it retails I think for maybe thirty, but they sell for for you can twenty get them a bit less. You can yeah. get them for in the for the twenty to twenty five range. Twenty yep. twenty five, you can certainly get them. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that's my number one, which is amazing, really. Like yeah. for twenty five k, a gold the amount watch of, with all of that. The amount finishing. of craftsmanship and fi yeah. finishing on both sides of this watch, and the case, and the lug lug welding, and, the and the complications the, too. Everything yeah. is is a serious uh, amount of watch for for the yeah. um, for the money. All right, <laughs> and <Sorry>. uh, <laughs> all right. So my <laughs> next uh, my next one is oh, didn't mean that. All right. <laughs> Actually, oh, yeah. I, I am gonna go to this. So this is a Ely Snardan 43 millimeter uh, marine tourbillon um, on rubber. You can get it in a you know on on uh, alligator, but um, so this is uh, thinner than a Daytona. Again, a lot of finishing. Uh, hand finished uh, tourbillon. Um, it has uh, Grand Faux enamel blue dial. Um, it is. Uh, it's got a 60 hour power reserve. It's shock resistant. It's 100 meters water resistant. Um, <coughs> it, there's a lot of watchmaking here. I, I like the way it looks. Is there um, a pattern on the dial? I it, there is. This, I don't like. know. I don't know if this is engine turned and then Grand Faux on top, or if it's CNC oh. with Grand Faux on top. But it's definitely there's a there's an engraved pattern uh, nice. with enameling uh, it's over. Beautiful, it. really yeah. beautiful. So, um, and hey. yeah, this is display back to nice finishing on both sides. Um, this one also retails for a touch over thirty k, but but you can buy it new for. 25 so each of them right. you can buy new for 25 so it's my this is my uh you know weekend recreational uh piece you it's know a lot of a lot of watches for you know the price really like a lot yeah <laughs> lot to it look is. at yeah, yeah mm -hmm. i mean a, a, one of the interesting things about this exercise is that i don't feel like i like either of these watches better than my usual watches that cost less than half as much mm -hmm. like it was mm -hmm. fun to do and i wouldn't you know i'll never buy watches i don't think this expensive um no. but uh i don't think so yeah really I don't, I don't never so. never i think i, li I like uh mm -hmm. i like the watches i'm buying just as much and mm -hmm. then i get to have more of them and more variety so that that's uh right. just the type of collector i am i guess um you know, I have watches in my collection I like just as much as either of these two. So, um, but it, but it was fun to do. It was also fun in a way. This is going to sound really ridiculous, but twenty five k for a watch doesn't go that far. Like a lot of the watches that we ogle over are way more, way, way more. more, right? Yeah. So, yep. Uh, you know, when I first I was like, wow, two two watches for fifty thousand that's more than I ever have spent. So why don't I get this, this, this? You can't mm -hmm. get any of those ones i first mm -hmm. went to to think of like mm -hmm. how much does a laurent ferrier uh you know galley like micro order cost you can't get that with you can't you, yeah but you're not getting two watches that and something right you you might yeah. get well you could get one of your cheaper watches that you love so much you could yeah it's still your, <laughs> not quite not quite yeah yeah yeah. uh or 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 db28 is going to be way above this yeah. this budget range yeah. uh you know a lot of the things we we ogle way mm -hmm. above this price range so it was interesting Some yeah mj um 50k seems high i no, you, you know i think we, i think we've done two watch yeah we've before, done or yeah. seven or 10k so yeah, yeah. uh so that's why we're doing you know we, we realized blow it out of the water a bit yeah um nilo only 50k okay <laughs> that's yeah. it there's, there's always two ways of looking at a, at a financial <laughs> proposition is 50k the tip uh yeah yeah I think that's what we're saying. Um, 
Mm. Let's see here. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, pardon me while I try. Designs in here in the house. Uh, Rick is saying mm. two watches, Rolex Sky Dweller Blue Dial, 15K, Ooh. and the Gronfeld. That's a great a, yeah, combo. 25K. That's Very a really good combo. Well done, Rick. Actually, probably a really good combo. I know he has the Sky Dweller. I don't know if he has. I don't think he has the Principia. He, he, has something, he has something better than that. He has something better. He didn't have to. He didn't have to to, yeah. uh, to save he to, that. Extra. He had to slum it down to he, he, make. Yeah, it. he had to slum fifty thousand. Oh my goodness, <laughs> yeah. fifty thousand is like Tuesday. You know, uh, so funny. Uh, talking oh. watches, going with the Aquanaut and the Kadoki. I never heard that you were adding those. That's crazy. <laughs> Actually, I didn't know that you were going to get the rose gold Kadoki. Slicey, how I, I heard yeah. some talking about it a bit, but I didn't realize he was doing it. Uh, Joe's uh, thinking of adding what well, we would add the Moser Perpetual and the Explorer too. You know that Moser yeah. Perpetual that was one of the watches that I was also considering as well. Uh, it's a beautiful watch. Um, yeah, it's pretty good value if you want a complicated watch. Excellent. Okay, so we're gonna go Colin next, and hopefully, Colin, sure. uh, the resolution. Yikes! I don't know. I'm gonna um, do it. <laughs> <laughs> I can. Oh, I can do it. Yeah. Yeah, you okay. can do it. Okay. Can do it. All right. Um, all right, Colin. Here we go. <clears throat> okay. All right. So, watch mm. number one. You go with the uh, Vacheron Overseas Blue Dial 4500V. It's just a you know integrated bracelet, beautiful watch, actually somewhat accessible, uh, or at least you can call up and purchase one. You'll have to wait. Uh, it was five months the last time I checked, probably six now. And uh, yeah, that can be your everyday watch. Comes with the leather, comes with the rubber, comes with the bracelet, quick release system for the the strap change. It's just a beautiful watch. So that that'd be the everyday. Uh, beauty i was gonna say beater but it's a beauty <laughs> and then my other one Your would other be one is none of those none of those uh here we go there we go brigade 7097 in rose gold so this is the one that has the retrograde seconds so every 60 seconds up in the top left there uh that'll do the retrograde grade snap back to zero. It's beautiful. So this is the tradition series. So you see all the open works. It's again, based on pocket watch movement, kind of for traditional Breguet. And uh, yeah, I, I tried this on and I ever since I tried it on like six months ago, I just, I think about it all the time. It's just beautiful watch. So this is my, you know, <laughs> I didn't. I, oil money. You own every watch. I didn't even know you own those. <laughs> Stop buying watches. You just have similar tastes, man. We're bros. We just don't know it yeah. yet. <laughs> but yeah, that's those are my two. That's what I think I'd pick. Awesome. Excellent. Man, Slice in a few words, I think. <laughs> So I was saying the two watches for 50K for me would be the dashboard clocks and a Porsche and a used Rolls Royce. <laughs> oh, <laughs> interesting. Like that. Yeah. 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 Mark, uh, Mark P approves the overseas. Um, very nice, Joe uh, says. Mm -hmm. Brigade again. Yeah, two brigades. Two brigades. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, Ra, I'm going to, I got your picks, but, and I promise the resolution is going to be. Uh, phenomenal. Um, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'll get there. Right in a after second. Colin, it's like to be like, oh boy, another one. But you'll, yeah, you'll see. It. <laughs> it's uh, close. It's very, very close. Is it? All right. So oh, yeah. you guys can see my screen, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. I like that. Yeah. I went with this because I, I've always, you know, I've always been a fan of GLC. And that red dial, small seconds tribute to me and you know i'll say this a couple of times i'm a very simple person like that is like the height of elegance it'd be a fantastic dress watch to wear um 
does it go with everything? No. But then again, I only wear a suit maybe once mm. a year, if that. And if I'm in a suit, then that that's the watch that I'm going to want on my wrist. Um, it's not one of the standard overseas that I'm mean, overseas. Sorry, um, reversals that you see all the time. Mm-hmm. But it sticks out so much that when you see it, you know you've seen it. You're not going to forget it. So that's something. That's a watch I always come back to. Retails. Well, I don't. I, I rarely buy. I rarely pay retail. But it can be found for around twelve thousand dollars. Uh, like this Which is just over like, retail. Over retail. Yeah. This so is, uh, is eighty two fifty, I think, retail. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Yeah. yeah. So but you can't get them. The red, at least, or the burgundy. Yeah, they're hard to chase yeah. around. And I love the way that it looks. And I was talking with um another board member about this watch this weekend, and I was like, man, it's a terrific watch. Um, you know, maybe one day. But uh, I've always passed on it. And I looked at some of the other watches, like some of the ones that in the style that you guys are saying, like those serious brigades, you know, ALS and so on. And every time I've seen a watch like that or try to watch like that on, you know, I always feel like I'm six years old trying on my dad's shoes. You know, it's like, it just looks ridiculous. On me. So, they kind of look like I fell out of a tree. So I need to watch it. Kind of, All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to do anything with a high complication, you know? So, uh, but that one just speaks to me. It it always has. It's a, it's a beautiful it's a watch. Piece yeah. yeah. I love that watch. Very, very nice. Okay. And then we'll go to the next one. Hey. Yeah. The VC overseas uh, dual time. Yeah. It's a, uh, that's another one that I've always looked at. And I know that there are a bunch of them floating around. I believe, uh, I think Rick has one in silver. Yep. But um, it's a beautiful piece. I love it in the blue. And this piece rivals uh, the way that I feel about the uh, Deep Stream, that gray dial one that we looked at with the titanium yeah. mm-hmm. outer ring. You know, it's yeah. right there with it. Uh, if I couldn't get that Deep Stream, I would go for this. And oddly enough, the price difference between this and Deep Stream is about $10,000. Because this one can be found for thirty three, so that puts me just under the fifty thousand dollar range. Mm-hmm. But it'd be a great everyday wear. Um, if I paid thirty three grand for it, would I wear it every day? Well, that's different. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. Not. Come on. But if, but if you know, if I had that kind of money to drop, you know, yeah. at the drop of a hat, oh, definitely. But um, and another thing I like about it is outside of the watch world. Thank you, Chaz. Uh, no one recognizes it. No one knows yeah. what it is. You know, so right. if someone ever say, "Hey, nice watch," okay, now you know you're dealing with a uh, <laughs> yeah someone who knows what they're talking about. So, yeah. is that going for it as well? But yeah, yeah, Every excellent, excellent picks, man. I, yeah, I love thanks. it. I as really like I saw the Collins blue overseas. I was like, yeah. oh. no, you got the dual time though, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like the dual time a lot as well. I, yeah, it's I, a gorgeous I, piece. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Excellent. Excellent. And um, so let's stop sharing. Okay. So now uh, my turn and um, and I'll share mm-hmm. my screen. I promise I have a great uh, resolution here uh, for you guys. Let me just find the application. Oh, no. You're going to do this, Tommy? <laughs> Yikes. Okay. I got it. Okay. So, all right. This selection here, right? I'm going. I'm going with a sub, right? A completely boring pick. Um, this MSRP. If we're if we're playing this imaginary game of using uh, or having 50k, mm-hmm. um, I'm going to pretend that I can get this at MSRP. Um, you can because I, I can. Yeah, you're going to drop 40k on a watch and say you got to give me a sub. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. That's how you're gonna do it. Yeah. That's how I'm gonna do it. So, yeah. so the reason why I went with this because I, this is gonna this would be like my 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 daily beater. Uh, I went um, under ten here because <laughs> I wanted to spend more on the next watch. Um, so obviously, you know, uh, Rolex uh, Submariner, no date, classic, um, tough watch, a uh, great looking watch, um, could wear with anything. I love the versatility. Um, everybody knows the story. Um, so the next next piece I, I went with, and 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 I did this on purpose. I, I picked what I picked because uh, with the Rolex, because I wanted to go big. And if I was going to go big and spend over forty on a watch, 
it had to be uh, FP Jorn. Uh, so I went with, um, of course, my screen is not. Uh, sorry, guys, let me. Having technical difficulties here, as always. Uh, here we go. So I went with the Octa Automatic um, Reserve, and I just love FP Jorn. I don't talk about how much I really, really love um, mm -hmm. this brand and 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 in the models that, that I was just. There's something about it aesthetically that pleases me. Uh, the numbers going around the dial. I wanted to get something with a precious metal uh, to match up with my a rugged uh, Submariner. Um, mm -hmm. And I love the power reserve. I love. I just love everything about uh, this watch. Um, it's one of my favorite brands. It's got a date. It's got a, a small seconds. Like I said, it's got the power reserve and it's got the precious metal. And um, yeah, I mean, you know, lottery, if I had ever hit the lottery, it's one of the first watches, um, you know, that, mm. that I would get. I just love it. You, you know what? I'm almost the same as you. Like the the numbers on an FP Jorn, I love how they 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 go mm -hmm. upside upside down and yep. they change size so that they fit. You know, yep. like they don't just cut them off; they make right. them smaller. And also, yeah. I love their hands. And mm -hmm. one of the things that I really love, and it's such a small thing, but the power reserve, how the curve on the power reserve <laughs> matches the hand. I just, for some reason, that just gets me. Yeah, I mean, and those are great points too that that I that I left out. But I mean, like the hands are are very, yeah. like you know, you know who they are when you see the yeah. hands. You know who what what brand we're talking about here. Those numbers, even though they're not all the same size, and maybe would bother some people, right? Um, I, I like you pointed out they they fit the, the size fits to wherever um, 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 uh, a complication it's going around, right? And so uh, I don't know, I just. The font, everything about it, I just, I just love. So, um, that would be my my two picks. That's Beautiful. good picks. Yep. That's and one he, of the few FP Jorns I actually like. Really like. Um, yeah. yeah. Everything else I've seen, and I know that he is very avant garde, and they seem off center or out of place outside of the Chronomet Blue. Mm -hmm. um, and it's like it's hard to get a handle on. Okay, it's like what am I looking at here? Uh, <laughs> yeah. This one seems to be a lot, it, it's a lot more symmetrical. It makes a lot more sense for me. Yeah. It's uh, yeah, I, know, I know he's a real deal, but still, you know, yeah. So. yeah, Joe, I mean, I didn't go, I didn't go German, um, but you know, next week I will, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like this, this all changes every week. We know how this is like we all, we fall in love yeah. uh, on a daily basis. Right. Um, yeah. So I definitely approached it today. Like, what would I pick today? Not, yeah. not like. Uh, oh yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not last week. Not yesterday. Not tomorrow. Yeah. So, yeah. we know that some of these watches are that we picked today are were totally out there. Would that would this be a possibility one day for for one? like I mean, is anybody seriously um, would consider yeah, something like that? The overseas, sure, right? According to Watch Eric, my uh, day date's gonna sell for a hundred grand, so I'm doing this for sure. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> I'm gonna flip it, and I'm gonna <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, sure. I mean, I, I'm not against it in the future. I'll, I, I unlike Amon, I expect as I age, I'll just keep spending more and more, like to the point where it's just stupid. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, Pete, not uh, a fan of the numbers numerals that go upside down. Mm -hmm. I love them. I just, I just, I don't know. Yeah. There's something, um, that's why that, uh, that JLC, the, um, the woman's watch. Oh, I forget the name of it. That, that does that. Um, I would say they made that in, 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 in a men's watch as well. Oh, if anybody remembers the name of the JLC, I'm talking about the woman's one, um, model. Um, Slicey, I felt pretty baller today. A fellow comedian complimented my watch and asked what it costs. And I said, probably about three or four grand. Way too casually, Casino Royale, Planet Ocean. <laughs> 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 oh, only like uh, three or four grand. Actually, yeah, it's kind of funny when people ask me, I'm like, oh, this one? No, it's like three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. a nice watch, though. That Casino Royale yeah. PO is really nice. It is, yeah. Dan, you're going with the 1815 Chronograph Boutique Edition. Yeah, and the G-Shock. Yeah, sure. Yeah. 
You know what? I was tempted to go that way, just like one, and then something cheap. Because that yes, rendezvous. That's it. That's the one. The JLC. Um, mm-hmm. I was trying to get Mrs. Legs uh, interested in that, and she not really interested in that. Um, but what she is interested in, um, which kind of really kind of surprised me, um, and we might as well jump in. Um, and check out some new releases, right? Um, She was really into this. Hmm. I like it. Sorry. The U50. Jump in the gun. No, no, that's that's totally fine. No, I mean, please please feel free. So new releases from Zen today. And of course, since uh, I'm the host of this stream, we're going to talk Zen for just a little while. they came out with some and one that I don't know how I feel about uh, a mother of pearl dial on the U50. And I get it, I understand. Um, you know, the mother of pearl uh, uh, U50 is a dive watch, ocean related. Um, but uh, she 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 kind of dug this. Um, and she, and uh, and so that took me by surprise. I'm, uh, anything that's non camo, um, really kind of surprises me if, she, if she's interested in it. Um, mm-hmm. Perfect couples watch. So, so you like it, Colin? What, what do, yeah. um, what did the rest of you guys think? Um, and Ra, she likes it. Buy it immediately. <laughs> yeah. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. <laughs> buy that watch immediately. Buy it. Yeah, immediately. you That's could wear that, man. When you're feeling sure. a little sure, that thing would have been bought yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you yeah. like it? Bam. Yeah. Bam. 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 Yep. If my wife liked it, I would buy it immediately for her. But but I, but I don't like it. <laughs> oh, guys, yeah. come on! That's fun. Look at that thing. Is it is it appropriate to hashtag not for me your wife? <laughs> well, I would love it on her. <laughs> I would love to buy it for her. She buys. She's she's so reluctant to buy fun things for herself that anything she wanted, I would buy in an instant. But um, yeah, not for me. All she wants is you, Amen. <laughs> uh Chris Ross is like, I'd, I'd rock it. Yeah, right? I'd rock that too, man. I don't know. I'm getting very flamboyant, I think, with my watch choices nowadays. I don't understand why. <sighs> the more diamonds and the more flashiness there is, the more I'm attracted to them lately. I don't know what's happening to me. You know, you do strike me as like a young Liberace. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, so let's take a look at the, at the other couple of releases. <laughs> The, the 104 with the metallic green. We've seen this before. Yeah, it's um, dick move, man. Yeah, don't, you had one of these, didn't you? Or you still I have still one? Do. I still yeah. do. I still do. So yeah. I have the limited edition of, of 500, but it's got the Arabic numerals. Yeah, uh, so it, 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 it's interesting um, because, you know, we can, I mean, I predict that every time they do a release, they're going to do a 104, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but they went back to the well on this one. Um, yeah. I know it's so slightly different, right? I mean, it doesn't have the Arabic numerals, yeah. um, but uh, I guess you know maybe maybe green, maybe it's a green thing. Do you know what I mean? Like maybe, yeah. you know that's. I don't. What... I don't like it when watch companies come out with something like Seiko does this, right? Where they come out with something and then it's a limited edition and people pay up, or or even Doxa just kind of did it with the carbon case and. Uh, like a year later or two years later, they come out with the same thing, just a little bit different. And it's like, it kind of cheapens that limited edition. Sure. They are yeah. different. Like the, this is a stick instead of Arabic, but um, not yet. I might have to start playing the piano. If yeah. I buy some of these watches. <laughs> uh, that blue dial uh, is nice. Yeah. So, so I would have yeah. to say what caught my eye and it usually, doesn't is this uh the black coated um stuff um the 154 anniversary is actually uh, is pretty cool it's a limited edition and then this um 717 is is pretty wild um let me zoom on on this and this is actually modeled after a cockpit um clock on a on a fighter jet um and uh very very interesting you have the 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 little small running seconds i mean um uh, uh, stop uh, stopwatch uh, seconds here uh, and then you have the minute 
which is this other red um, orange dial, yeah. oh, yeah. and then and then the and then the running seconds here. Um, mm -hmm. So it's like center seconds um, chronograph. So pretty pretty interesting. And also, uh, you know, not surprisingly, it's going to be <laughs> pretty pricey um, because this is a, a special release. But it's uh, around. Actually, it's not limited. So, but they're. I think it's over five grand to ask it for, which is it's pretty, really pretty pricey. Yeah, it's, and it's a big watch too. It's a forty-five. Ooh. Uh, well, it's a pilot's. Seven. I mean, pilot's watch, and the lugs are small yeah. too, so it'll yeah. fit. You know, my wrist. Uh, it's pretty cool sure. looking watch. It is. It is yeah. for sure. Um, anything else here that's of interest? And that, that, that's really um, what piqued my interest. They're really. It looks like Zinn is really going uh, um, hard on this. Uh, decorative grinding type dial. Uh, this is a second yeah. series of releases with it. I don't know how mm -hmm. I feel about it. I would have to take a look at it when I see it in person. Um, but I'm it looks the like few that one of the few that likes it that you one they put out with that dial. I was like, <gasps> you know, yeah. hearts in the eyes kind of thing. I was like, that looks amazing. Yeah, yeah that, that, that one. Does and cool. Everybody else was like, ah, you know, no, I, li I like it. But um, I think it, it's just a wonderful look for yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think I think I, I probably would change my tune if I saw it in person. I probably would like it, um, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, um, but it's interesting. Um, ID uh, guy saying Zin are killing. Yeah, indeed they are. Yeah, I like the they, other ones. They the really chronograph. are. The which one, Naman? The the, the, black. the the one you just showed the yeah. chronograph. Yeah, yeah. The, with the with the uh, dial texture, not that one. The uh, go up the three five eight. Oh, gray, oh right, gray. right. The the gray with yep. the black uh, sub does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that a lot. It's yeah, it's a good looking watch. Yeah, that's yep. nice. It is nice. I really like the gray or anthracite dial mm. watches. I gotta get something like that. Yeah, me me too. Um the 104 they released a um a fan club version of it. Um, and, uh, it has a, um, orange seconds tip and, um, and that has an anthracite dial and that's, uh, I'm, I'm digging that anthracite dial as well. Um, mm. and I've seen a lot of, um, other brands with the, with that colorway and it's, uh, it's really, <clears throat> really cool. Yeah. If I ever got a Royal Oak, like 15, 500, I would get the, the gray dial. Oh, oh but, interesting. I think that's what I would do. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. let's check with the, the chat and see what the chat is saying. Uh, my prep a uh, homemade holiday sauce and put it in the fridge. Well, thanks, Don. <laughs> sweet. Um, sweet. Um, would you? We got, uh, we got a lot of Europeans here today. I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, no, that's great. I mean, I, I mean, would that something? Would you use that also with deviled eggs and put a little paprika on it? Uh, just let us know. <laughs> Uh, love my easy M12. Good. Yeah, reminds me of um, Hellborn insertions in Afghanistan. Okay, okay, sure. Um, watch down that with a buzz fizz. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I like the the snacks and the beverages. L Chat, let us also know what you're snacking on. I'm I'm hoping to uh, get, eat nice, have a, a warm brownie after the the stream. Maybe a little a la mode with some some vanilla ice cream on top. Old school, going old school. <laughs> um, the old five five six with the anthracite looks great too. Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, Megan agrees. Zin are most definitely killing it, but I barely know anything about them. Yeah, I mean, I I didn't really know much about them until a couple years ago, um, and then um, kind of like fell into them watching some videos and uh, and going down the rabbit hole. Now they feature Bobby's videos on their Facebook. <laughs> They've had a couple. Awesome. They've had a couple. I, I, yeah. I get, I get the, you know how like tickled I get when that happens, man? Yeah, that's cool. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> like it's bananas yeah. with my silly little thumbnail. And they like, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's just, it's ridiculous, yeah. but I love it. Yeah, that's uh, cool. Thomas, thank you again. Uh, very supportive of the channel really appreciate it shout out to megan arthur id guy mark b yeah, Hans, thanks, and everyone across the pond for staying up late that's, oh, cool. that's great that is so awesome yeah. thank you guys um for staying up so late and um and checking out the chat um <clears throat> kevin had some gluten-free chocolate cake tonight 
You know, Kevin, you're not the only one um, that's been, uh, you know, you know, uh, ingesting some calorie friendly uh, dessert treats tonight. There are a few people on the panel, and I won't, <laughs> I, won't I won't name them who who um, who have joined us. So I'm going full on. I'm going. I don't care. Full fat. Full sugar. Yeah. You know. Um, I'll probably die soon. I, well. I hate <laughs> I hate that Watch Buys has a stranglehold on Zoom watches in North America. They yeah, do. or money. I, I I'm with you on that. Um, they they have a stranglehold on a couple other brands too. Um, and um, yeah, and I'll just leave it at that. Um, but they, uh, but to to their credit, they're super friendly. Um, have really good customer service. Um. So there's that. Um, Rob is an influencer. Okay. Uh, ironically, uh, Rich Russell says, ironically, eating a keto snack mix with an IPA. That's perfect combination. Yeah, ask me. <laughs> um, I had a brownie. Oh, wow. very good, Kelvin. Okay. So let's um, let's check out some other releases. I don't know if there was too many this week, um, but uh, uh, there was a couple. Um, that uh, might be some of interest here. And um, this came out today or a day ago. The D Bethune DB27 Tyne Hawk Green Dial. Um, it's beautiful freaking, watch. Freaking gorgeous. Yeah, Colin. Look, I love you it. Share. Yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> nothing to share. I did. That's it. It's gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Bruce. I appreciate it. Uh, what say you guys, uh, Ahmed and, and Ra? Any uh, any thoughts? I like it, but um, the thing is with Dipathune, you know, the um, the other releases just kind of overshadow it, you mm. know. So it, it feels like like oh, this is trying to jump on that train, especially with that dial and the um, you know the text and so on. It's like oh, you know, they're trying to. Jump on the success of that uh, the uh, other model. The name escapes me. You know the Star Trek looking one, DB twenty eight. Exactly. Yeah, but so it's they, like, they've had the DB twenty seven. So this isn't yeah. this isn't really a new new model. They've had the DB twenty seven. This is just a uh, a different color, slightly slightly different. So you don't feel like it's trying to piggyback on the success of that prior model. You know the one with the whole dial lights up. This is now. I, I'd have don't to go back and check. I'd have to go back and check, but this model may have come out before the DB twenty eight oh, in a different really? in a different variation. Okay, uh, like a different color, but I'd have to double check that. Yeah, my dip at your knowledge began with that watch. Yeah, but, I so think it was like of, yeah. yeah. <laughs> before that, I was like, yeah. who? Yeah, <laughs> and, and then you know Tim, you know he blows everything mm -hmm. up. So I was like, "Wow, okay." So now I know everything about this watch. You know, like <laughs> costs more than my house and all the cars. You know, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tim did there, a, a, a video on like the whole Debethune lineup and history yeah. and everything. It's, it's so a, cool. It's a good one. Um, yeah. I love it. It's not my favorite one, but uh, no. but I still love it. They yeah. have some that are just so gorgeous. Like mm. they're. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to put out something so simple and have it be nicer than some of their like Aventurine dial, you know, like yeah. Turbion, Guilloche, you know, like just I think beautiful I'd... stuff. Yeah, 3D moon face. Um, yeah, yeah. All, all of that. But uh, I, I really got to find, I got to find these in the wild and try some on because, yeah. like, like I said, uh, you know, 20 years from now when I have, mm. if I keep, spending more like this is something <laughs> that is on my radar right uh blue ram there is a dealer in calgary Ca canada yeah. that sells yeah. zen as well oh okay j ver <laughs> anderson is their name <clears throat> uh talk and watches mark after four months of no sugar out of brownie tonight wow. too good for you good for you four months of no good sugar for you man yeah. Oh, you. no wonder he's made so many rash decisions. <laughs> <laughs> Although he doesn't have an excuse for the other <laughs> months before that. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, Mark. 
That's so obvious watches. I've noticed that the Germans seem to go for really limited distributions and tightly disciplined sales channels. Uh, same in most countries. Very disciplined, those Germans, right? Very disciplined. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Mark also had two Rice Krispie treats. Good oh, for you, man. He really you know? went off the, the rails. I like um after after I I, uh, I lift I like to hit sugar really hard because it helps um, peak the insulin and allows mm -hmm. the muscles to grow. People a lot of people say or or, or, or it's uh, thought that oh you should have like a protein shake or something with protein afterwards. Sugar is probably um, as important mm -hmm. or more important right after you work out. Um, and I think you also had pancakes somewhere. Holy cow! Yeah, I saw a picture of pancakes from him today. Also, pancakes. They, they looked morning. pretty good. His wife it must be a good cook because she makes some stuff that I saw some enchiladas. Ooh, man. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Thank you so much, Kevin. Yeah, no, cheap. Yeah, I know, man. It's a bummer. It's a bummer. Um, okay, so, you know, I... You know, the big one in the room, right? I mean, like, you know, we have a, a supposed uh, Rolex release coming next week, right? Mm -hmm. um, we saw a little teaser video today yep. or yesterday. Um, it's a, a big anniversary for the Explorer 2. Do you guys think, right. is that is that going to be the big announcement? Uh, yep. Colin, since you're, you know, you, you're in tune with the Rolex? Yeah, that's absolutely the You're Explorer. our insider. Yeah. It's, I'm yeah. insider. No, yeah, uh, right. yeah I, I took a screen grab as many other people did and played with the levels and exposure and all that. And it's obviously an Explorer 2 that they pictured there. It's totally. Um, uh, it was a polar dial. Um, and a lot of people think it looks like a Cerachrome bezel. Um, I, I I'm not sure. It it does look like it's a dark bezel with light colored numbers. So, but who knows? You're you're monkeying with the picture, so sometimes mm -hmm. that yeah. stuff kind of goes funky. So I don't know. <clears throat> and and they're monkeying with it too. Yeah, yeah. you know, trying right. to so you're yeah. not really sure what you're gonna get. <clears throat> yeah, um, yeah. So do you think it's gonna be a explorer centric? Like that's the, gonna be it, or I think there'll be other stuff. Yeah. Yeah, like maybe that'll more, be the big that'll be the big part. But uh, more op colors. Uh, I don't know. Maybe eh, I don't know. There's a lot of colors already. Yeah, uh, I've heard some people speculate. You know, maybe this is when they put this gold sub on an oyster flex. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what else have I heard? I think my favorite was the um, the long shot, superior long shot of them on the 50th anniversary putting out a 1655 dial mm. on that 42 millimeter, which would, and you know, I've already said this and that about Rolex, and oh, no, 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 if they did that, I'm on the wait list. <laughs> I'm, on the freak, I'm at the AD tomorrow morning, <laughs> because that is one of my all-time favorite watches, and if yeah. that watch came out in a 42 millimeter, That'd I always cool. say it, you can look. Say what 1655? If they did that, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm going for it because that is just an amazing looking watch. Yeah. And that would immediately rival the JLC <laughs> as an everyday. Immediately. I immediately. don't think they're doing that because they did show the dial Neither. and it didn't look like that. Yeah. So um I know. Do you think Still they will in my dreams? As far as adding green, um, I've heard a few people speculate that maybe the GMT hand will be green. And I've some people are even saying like the the crystal almost looked green on the teaser video, almost like a Milgauss, you know, green tinted crystal. I, but again, it's just a bad picture, so on a weird angle. So I don't think they would do that. But it'd be interesting if they did. Do you think they'll drop any discontinuing news yeah something will be uh, there there will be a handful that get discontinued i don't know if it'll be any of the the big ones but you know the rumor is cellini but mm -hmm. yeah like all of them right just done with yeah. it. yeah but the thing is it, 
uh, they haven't been selling well for years. Well, how, why, Rolex is pretty on their game business wise. So why didn't they just continue it years ago? Would be my question. And we're yeah. always wrong when it comes to what they're going to discontinue and then what they're going to release. You know, the Air King was supposed mm-hmm. to be discontinued last year. You know, Milgau, yeah. same. Now we're hearing the same thing again with the Cellini thrown in. It's all <laughs> guessing games. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe the Cellini, maybe the Cellini knows where the bodies are buried. You know, they, <laughs> yeah. they got to keep it alive. Gotta they keep gotta it keep. So the the Cellini rumor really is <clears throat> that there there are a few people on the forums who have basically gotten like forty percent off Cellinis in the last little bit. Like they're mm-hmm. getting rid of them from what it seems like. Uh, mm-hmm. So that's why people are thinking that the Cellini might go. The uh, big rumor that a lot of people think is that the John Mayer Green Dial Daytona is going to be discontinued. That's been a rumor hot and heavy for the last couple months and the prices of those have just gone insane. Like I, I saw one sell for 88,000 yesterday. Oh, yeah. That'll be fun. As long as they keep the mill gauss, I would hate to see that watch go. I think, I mean, such a fun watch. It's yeah. I think they watch, keep it. You know, something so far out of their norm and very staid and, that one is just such a fun one. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be something that they discontinue it when it actually gets to the point where it's like, it seems like it's more popular now than it's ever been. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it was always the yeah. dog and yeah. now it's finally kind of popular and like, then they're going to ax it. Yeah. But, yeah. That, that would uh, be a Rolex move. Too. Yeah. Uh, someone mentions the air King. Yeah. You know what though? There's so much history with the air King. Mm-hmm. You can't really like the air King has been around for, decades and decades like since the i don't know exactly but they they have them way back in the 60s and possibly before that so ooh, really going back to the oyster it's hmm. gonna steal a thunder from that white gold blro if they do that uh, well it used to be on an oyster, right? Steel oyster. Right. They switched, what was that? 2017? Mm-hmm. Yeah, not that long so ago. So, you Yeah. 18, yeah. was it? I'd be interested to see, like, uh, you know, you've the 5711 got discontinued. Now we hear that the jumbo is getting discontinued. Like, all these companies are taking their most successful watches and axing them. So, like, do you think Rolex would ever do that? Like, take they're most popular and just say no never <laughs> like you can, I, I kind of think, agree with you well, well what, the which is going to be gone can you imagine well just which one riding out in the street i don't i don't know which one you would do which one is needs a refresher well, let's let's work backwards okay which yeah. one needs a refresher which one hasn't been updated in forever right mm. um movement wise let's say like what the daytona milgos explore but they but yeah, they, they explore. right so so what the for the first explorer uh, or explore two but there's no like how could you discontinue a daytona like, no no you you wouldn't discontinue you discontinue the daytona as you know it right yeah exactly. movement you You're know right. yeah hmm. interesting you, you call it um the uh indianapolis 500 i don't know but it's, a, but it's a Daytona, you know. If they do yeah. that forty-one millimeter rumor we've saw running around. What was it uh, a week ago, a week and a half ago? Oh, the the blue one. Yeah, was, yeah, that was uh, fake. Yeah, I'm like hey, whatever. Hmm. People have been saying it's too small for a while. So, you know what? It fits me good. It fits me really well. It's actually yeah. probably the best fitting Rolex for me. Really? But I yeah, oh. I don't I don't have a huge wrist though, so hmm. interesting. Yeah, I, I'm interested. I I'll oh, admit okay. I'm actually more interested to see what gets discontinued than uh Yeah. Probably because you know, you really can't get whatever they're releasing <laughs> well, <laughs> unless <laughs> unless you're like an Uber VIP, you know. It'll be interesting to see what gets discontinued and what that watch does the very next day, price-wise. 
Oh yeah, they'll go. You know crazy, what I mean? Right. I mean, the yeah. Explorer Two is already creeping up to you know twelve, thirteen, fourteen thousand. Just in speculation, right? Just yeah. in speculation. Yeah. Is that crazy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Um. Anything else, guys? Not yeah. talking about whether the Explorer Two will be ceramic or or steel. Um, That's the big thing, yeah. yeah. I hope it's ceramic, only because I'll yeah. feel a little more special with my steel uh, right, right. Explorer right. Two. Yeah. <laughs> if they do ceramic, I would like them to find a way to do ceramic and make it look like steel somehow. Like the color of steel. Mm -hmm. Like don't do a black ceramic like the Daytona. Try to do a gray somehow i think that would be cool they could do like tungsten or something that's very scratch resistant and it's sort of yeah yeah or do a different material yeah that'd be yeah. cool i mean the big thing with those bezels is the paint comes out of the the black paint comes out mm. it seems over time yeah mm -hmm. so but so they can I, replace them at the at the service i rather yeah i hope they go black ceramic make it look like every yeah. other damn relic <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like like the Zin uh, 105 or whatever. That's what I'm hoping. Is that for. it? A 105. Yeah, I, I hope they don't do it. It looks so terrible in the the, the mockups. I'm like the mockups look bad, but you know what? Maybe uh, the real so thing cool would look better. True, true. And there's a you could say that for a lot of watches. Please, please, please. Yeah. I used to despise Panerai until I saw one, and and it was like a light shine down from God onto this woman's wrist, and I had never seen anything like it. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. 41 millimeter. Panorama. So a 41 millimeter explorer. This is the 369 explorer, like the yeah. MK MK3. <sighs> so they've been going up in size, right? So they went from 36 to 39. Yeah. And now it's a 41 following suit with the OP. Can they make every watch 41 though? Like I don't think Don't you so. want some variation? Like oh, you got a 44, you got a 43, you got a 42, you got a 41, you got a 40, you got a 39. And turn off a large portion of the fan base because everybody yeah. went crazy when the deep sea came out. Um, mm -hmm. Why is 44 yeah. mil? Who's going to wear that? And yeah. then, you know, the, the newer sea dweller came out 43. People were freaking out about that. People were freaking out about the 41 millimeter and it wasn't even a millimeter larger. So if they do it again, you're going to turn off a large portion of the fan base. Now, will they leave? Possibly, but they've got that Stockholm syndrome like hold over them. So they may stay. But if you do something like that to the Explorer, iconic 39 millimeter. And what was the other one? 36. It, it, it's a big risk. It's a big risk. Even if you have that mm -hmm. cachet, in my yeah. opinion, you know, it's, I don't think it's a good move for the Explorer. Like it, just that look that, that people. Yeah. I don't think so. So Pete, um, I would say it excites me, but not because I want to like make a million dollars on, you know, like I'm a, I'm a, I've been a stock trader for many, many years, like in my personal life, I'm a bit of a cheerleader when it comes to things like that. Like if I see, you know, a stock that's like just super hot and it's going crazy and all that and, you know, there's tons of momentum. I'm a bit of a cheerleader in that way. And it's, I think of hmm. watches sometimes the same where it's like, look at this thing. It's going higher. It's going higher. This is crazy. You know, I'm, I kind of just like watching and seeing it go crazy. I like the chaos, I guess. Yeah. So, it is kind of fun, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hans, good night. Yeah. 3 a.m. Good night, Hans. Thanks for joining. Wow. Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. That's a trooper well, right there. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Mark is saying if he, if Spork 2 comes out of 41 millimeter and Tungsten bezel. He's already wanting him immediately. That'd, it would be cool. Yeah. He misses his Explorer too. <laughs> ID guy, everything in 41. <laughs> it could be. Yeah. Yeah. Too generic. I'd make so much fun. Yeah. Young OC. Take, down to 38. Take to, to 38. All right. We have a tug of war. Oil, oil money with the. Um, it went from 36 to 39, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. 
I don't sure. even know what that that's, means. I don't, Honestly, I, don't I don't know what that means. That's the second know. sex tape name he's had today. <laughs> oh, he's had a couple already? Okay. Yeah, he had one for Almond, too. Okay. Oh, word? Yeah, I'll tell you later. All right. Yep. No, it's okay. <laughs> uh, Rolex is never going away, ever, of course. <laughs> totally agree. Um, <laughs> Want an accent color? Or are people betting on what accent color are people betting on for for Explorer Ten? Oh, green. So you got orange, you got red from the previous version, and then mm-hmm. I guess green for anniversary would be the three common, most obvious choices, right? So yeah, I'll say green. Sure. Which means I'm probably keep wrong. It orange. I'm, yeah, I'm exactly. going to say orange again because they're mostly boring. Right. I, I, I think they're keeping it orange. I think they're keeping it orange. If, if, yeah. Because, yeah, we'll keep it orange. And it sticks with the tradition. If you look back at 1655, orange. Yeah. Yep. I'm looking forward to them changing the, the, uh, the number font they use again. I, I don't like the, the, the overall font they use on their bezels, the, no? the numbers. Yeah. I don't hate it, but. It looked I the feel, same in the picture, I think. Every once in a while, they they change that, right? Like yeah. Every once in many years, I'm I'm looking forward to the next one. <laughs> Purple. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, what if they did that? What if they oh, did man. the OP forty one style and they came out with multiple different hand colors so you had a green and, an orange a red a yellow a then they purple the and it's, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. it's over for Alex then they, they came out with the Bombay special it's not over. now they're going to come out with the rainbow uh, you know selection rainbow's Deliver. hot man Liberace strong in you Colin I have to say <laughs> again <laughs> it's well guys um We've been almost oh, well, well, hour and six minutes, and uh, you know, yeah. uh, Friday night, long night. Um, had a real, had a blast again with all of you guys and all you guys oh. in the chat. Uh, Colin, anything um, coming up soon for you? Nope, not really. Nope, nope. nope. Just follow me on Winding Watches, please. Uh, f- follow That's all you I on, got going on. Follow me on Winding Watches. Unwinding underscore watches. Yeah, winding under. Everyone knows. Come on. Yeah, winding underscore watches. Okay. On okay. Instagram. I'm going to pause before I go to Ahmed. Yeah. Ahmed, it's anything? the one. That's that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> so I, I got don't need help elsewhere. On Discord, we just launched this. Super yes. Best Watch Friends on Discord. Please check it out. You're it's all invited. Um, and uh, it's a lot of fun. We got these rooms that we sometimes just hang out in and just talk watches uh spontaneously so yeah, uh it's a good time uh, good times yeah i mean it's it the, the first it's been less than a week and um man it, there's a lot of action going on you know a lot of like chat yeah. and um and we've done like you said a couple of group uh talks and um so much, fun. So much I, fun yeah but uh rob was teaching us about german watches had a, had a little audience in there oh, I, I missed it good no times. you didn't miss anything you didn't miss anything. You know what? I'd like to see more people jump in the rooms. I I, I like that. Just randomly yeah. jump in, and, and anybody can jump in yeah. the rooms at any time. Yeah. And if you see yeah. somebody in the room, you can you can jump in there. Yeah. yeah, no, it's fun. It's fun, especially like now when we're still kind of locked up a little bit, you know. Um, and mm-hmm. hopefully things are opening up in the real world. But it's nice to have that um, connection. Uh, with people and people that we've seen on the chat that we don't know their faces, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's good right. to see some of these guys, right. you know, and gals. No doubt. Um, so it's a lot of fun. Uh, Ra, anything, uh, anything coming up for you? No, still wrestling with Blanc Pond. I, yeah. I could mm-hmm. see myself getting to 50 Fathoms in the future. Yes. It's like blue, <laughs> or black, which one, you know, and uh, everyone's always like, hey, you the bracelet, bracelet. Like when it comes to Blanc Pond, I don't even care about the bracelet. I, yeah. I know it, you know, I wouldn't everybody. either. Everybody sings its praises. Yeah. But, um, you know, I've gotten away from becoming a bracelet guy, and uh, you know, it's it's all about straps. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, NATO. This. So uh, I I think about it almost every night, <laughs> trying to figure out with myself yeah. what's going to happen. Awesome, yeah. man! I can't wait to see it next week. 
It's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Coming soon. Coming soon. Thank you, guys. Good night. I'll All see right. you guys on, night, uh, on Sunday. Good night. See Thanks, you. guys. Take care. Bye. Bye.